German Tesla publication Tesla Mac has an exclusive report today on July 22nd saying first Tesla Model Y with carrying 4680 battery is produced and in the German Gigafactory Giga Berlin. Welcome back friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. The Tesla factory that was then being built in Hyundai near Berlin uh, known as Giga Berlin would bring a revolution in car production CEO Elon Musk wrote in July 2020. And in the months that followed it, we gradually it became clear to us what he meant by that. A Model Y whose supporting frame is a large cast part at the front and rear and a battery pack of 4680 batteries in between. Because their own production was delayed, Tesla finally went into serious production at Giga Berlin in March with conventional batteries from China. Instead, Two weeks later, the also new Gigafactory in Texas delivered the first Model Y with 4680 battery. But as Tesla Mac from Germany learned, such a package was installed in the German Tesla factory for the first time. In mid-June, after a slow start in Hyundai at Giga Berlin, Tesla reported that 1,000 Model Y electric vehicles were produced there in one week for the first time. Surprisingly, at least a few dozen in the long-range variant of Model Y were added by the end of the month after the German Gigafactory had previously only delivered the more expensive performance version. With the goal of further significant increase, Tesla then sent most of its employees on a two weeks vacation after the second Friday in July in order to restructure the production. This work continued this week. Tesla Mac learned from a person who was informed about the processes. However, some production staff have been reassigned to test the conventions, uh, actually the conversions that Tesla made at Giga Berlin that have already been completed and to prepare for the full restart next Monday. So therefore, this Friday is the last day before Tesla Giga, of the week that before Tesla Giga Berlin restarts with full conversion version next uh, Monday. Various innovations on the German Model Y are said to have been tried out on the occasion, including the restructural battery pack of 4680 batteries as in Texas. Also, like the Model Y with 4680 batteries from the United States, it can be recognized by the designation standard, which is displayed in the vehicle information on its touchscreen under the Model Y. Unlike the previous copies from Texas, however, there is no dual motor underneath. It is therefore a Model Y only with rear wheel drive and a smaller battery as is already being sold in China. But there with a conventional LLP battery, which is also found in the smallest Model 3. However, European customers should not hope for a quick start of this variant, which is popular in China, and that in the state-of-the-art 4680 design. The Model Y standard built this week was purely a test vehicle, the person informed said to Tesla Mark. Another one was scheduled for Friday. So today Tesla is also being uh, building a Tesla Model Y with 4680 battery. This should even get the front casting from the local Tesla factory, which had previously been delivered from China. With the Model Y in the conventional design with batteries from uh, slimmer 2170 batteries, only the rare frame element was previously cast in one piece at Giga processes. According to earlier information from the industry, the German Tesla factory was not planning to switch to Model Y with die cast element at the front and rear end and the 4680 battery until the fourth quarter at the earliest. The batteries for this are to be produced in a separate building on the Gigafactory site, which is not yet finished. In Tesla's quarter two earnings call on Wednesday night, CEO Elon Musk stressed that no 4680 batteries would be needed to boost electric car production to new records for the rest of the year. Also, in Texas, which had started with the new design, the Model Y is currently getting conventional batteries for the LR variant. 
So friends, what do you think? I think this is very exciting that for the first time, the first Tesla Model Y with carrying that carries 4680 battery is produced in German Gigafactory, Giga Berlin. What are your thoughts on this? Please let me know in the comment section below. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a blessed day. God bless you, everyone. And I'll see you soon in our Tesla next Tesla just revealed a good news and bad news about its battery production. I mean, the 46 battery production there is a bright side however so tesla announced yesterday that it aims to start 46 ad battery cell production at gigafactory texas this quarter and quickly ramp up to volume production by the end of the year over the last few months Tesla has been fairly quiet about the production of its new 4680 battery cell that enables its new structural battery pack design. This has been a concern for Tesla investors since the new battery technology is seen as critical to Tesla's future vehicle programs. The concerns grew larger as the automaker launched Model Y production at Gigafactory Berlin with the old architecture based on 2170 cells and after launching Model Y production at Gigafactory Texas with 4680 cells. It recently added the production of Model Y vehicles with the old architecture at the Austin factory also. Everything pointed to Tesla having major issues ramping up production of the new and much bigger battery cells with which we had lots of hopes of energy density and bigger range. Much of Tesla's conference called yesterday with analysts and shareholders for the release of its quarter through 2020 financial results resolved around, actually revolved around the 4680 cell. The automaker confirmed that it is having issues ironing out production processes for new technologies in the cell, including its dry electro technology. That's the bad news. Tesla wouldn't confirm its current 4680 cell production rate, but it did confirm that it is still not enough to produce 1000 vehicles per week, which would put the annual production capacity at less than 4 gigawatt hour, but it aims to achieve that well before the end of the year. That was a quote, well before the end of the year. On the bright side, which is the good news, Drew Baglino, Tesla's senior vice president, powertrain and engineer, energy engineering, confirmed that the automaker plans to officially start production of the 4680 cell at Gigafactory Texas this quarter. That's the good news. Here is the quote. Manufacturing lines were further integrated and we insourced additional content. For this reason, there are some new ramp challenges to overcome in Texas and Berlin, specific to Texas last quarter. Cell equipment was fully installed and commissioned and we produced our first commissioning car sets of cells through the end of the line. Our target for Texas is to begin production this quarter and aim for Texas to be capable of exceeding Cato weekly output before the end of this year. End of the good. Cato refers to Tesla's current pilot production factory for the 4680 cell on Cato Road in Fremont, California. At this Torque News channel, I've had lots of reports about how things were going at Cato Road facility in Fremont, California, which is just a few blocks away from Tesla's Fremont factory. The fact that Tesla plans for 4680 cell production at Gigafactory Texas to exceed production from the Cato facility by the end of the year is particularly impressive, considering the automaker also disclosed today that production in Cato increased 35% month over month each month since March. Tesla always meant to learn from the production at the pilot facility and deployed more advanced and higher volume production lines in both Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Berlin. What do you think, friends, about all these things and the good side, good um, part and the bad part? Now, the good thing is Tesla aims to start 4680 battery cell production at Gigafactory Texas this quarter. Do you expect longer range Teslas after that? This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. And I'll see you soon in our next report.